This is the Glasuta Original CQ Panorama Date Watch, a luxury diver's watch that exhibits great design and quality. This is a beautiful watch. I previously had in hand the regular CQ, so let's take a look and see what I think of this Panorama Date model, how it differs, and which I like better on this episode of Adventures with Time. months ago I published a hands-on review of the Glasuta Original CQ. At that time I considered it one of the best luxury dive watches available. Now I have, lent to me, its bigger brother, the CQ Panorama Date, and I have it in the green dial model just launched in March of 2022. I'll review this watch and give you my opinion as to the pros and cons of the CQ Panorama Date versus the CQ. If you're interested in an overview of the Glasuta original brand and my review of the CQ, I'll leave a link to my previous video at the end. First, the specifications of the CQ Panorama Date. This is a 43.2 millimeter stainless steel case with a thickness of just over 15 and a half millimeters, a lug to lug of 51.5 millimeters, and a lug width of 21 millimeters. Yeah, a 21 millimeter lug width, which might dissuade some. On this bracelet, it weighs in at 190 grams. More about this fantastic bracelet later. Like the CQ, the CQ Panorama Date has a dome sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on both sides, screw down sign crown, 120 click unidirectional ceramic diver's bezel, and super luminova for low light readability. The CQ Panorama Date has a 300 meter water resistance, greater than the 200 meter of the CQ. Additionally, the CQ Panorama Date comes with the in-house caliber 3613 movement and runs at 28,800 beats per hour and has a 100 hour power reserve, over twice that of the 40 hours in the CQ. With these arguably better specifications comes a higher price tag. The CQ Panorama Date on bracelet retails for $12,400 US dollars. That's $2,200 greater than the CQ. But there's more to a watch than just the specifications. So let's take a look at some of the key design and aesthetic elements of this watch. Clearly the most notable feature of this watch is the dial. Well, really the entire face. The reed green dial provides a great background for the applied silver trimmed indices. And along with the large brush hour and minute hands makes for great readability. As you would expect in a watch at this price level, everything lines up from the hour indices to the minute track to the scale on the diver's timing bezel. And the bezel has that same great action that I saw on the CQ. Other than the slightly larger size of the CQ Panorama Date, the significant difference from the CQ is the Panorama Date feature. Other brands may call this a large date feature. Here in the Glasuta original models, the two-digit date is created by two separate discs. These discs are on the same plane with practically no gap between the two. This provides a clean, smooth, and highly readable image. I've seen this before when I reviewed their Panomatic Lunar model. I'll leave a link to that review also at the end of this video. I normally don't like date windows at the four o'clock-ish position, but it's done so explicitly here on the CQ Panorama date that I actually prefer it over the date implementation on the CQ. Despite the date being bigger, it is actually less obtrusive. That is, it doesn't overwhelm or distract from the appearance of the dial. Perhaps that's helped by the lack of a painted border, yet it still includes a nicely beveled edge to the date window. One of the best executed date features I've seen on a watch. I like how the balance of the dial is maintained because the date window replaces the four o'clock hour applied numeral. And we still have a loomed hour marker at the four o'clock position. This preserves the pattern of the minute track and as you'll see now, provides support for loom. I love how the polished trim on the applied indices adds a bit of class to the watch. So much so that I'd consider wearing the CQ Panorama Date even as a dress watch. 
I said that also about the CQ and my Tudor Black Bay 58, as I don't believe that a diver's bezel necessarily eliminates a watch from these dress scenarios. However, I will say that the Black Bay 58 with its gold color accents on the industry's hands and dial printing probably does make it slightly more appropriate for dress. But none of these are as dress appropriate as my Tiffany branded Patek Philippe. If you want a model of the CQ Panorama date that is more dressy, I would suggest you consider the two-tone model with the gray dial. This is a stunning watch. To answer the question of which I prefer between the CQ and the CQ Panorama date, I'll focus on the three major differences between these two models, size, movement, and date window. The CQ Panorama Date is definitely a larger watch, adding almost 4 millimeters to the dial diameter, not counting the crown guards, and 4.5 millimeters on the lug to lug. It's also 3 plus millimeters thicker than the CQ and weighs 40 grams or 25% more than the CQ. But I did notice the added weight on my wrist, and it is a little bulky under the shirt cuff. That is something one should take into account when considering this model. My wrist is 7 and 7 eighths inches, hence the larger size CQ Panorama Date looks natural on my wrist. In fact, it looks fantastic. Oh, one thing I noticed is that the crown guards actually soften their transition into the crown, almost making the crown disappear. I like that. As on the Panomatic Lunar Watch, the CQ Panorama Date has a display case back so we can see the in-house caliber 3613 movement. This is a beautifully decorated movement with striping on the three-quarter plate and skeletonized logoed rotor with 21 karat gold. There are beveled edges, polished components, and blued screws, all making this a movement to admire. From a functional standpoint, the 3613 has a regulator-free fine adjustment. It also has a silicon balance spring for improved magnetic resistance. Perhaps not as elaborately decorated as the duplex swan neck on the Caliber 6501 I showed on the Panamanic Lunar Watch, it is still a movement to admire. With a four-day power reserve and the ability to see the movement, I give the upper hand to the CQ Panorama Date. What Glasuta Original has achieved with the CQ Panorama Date is a robust diver's watch that has clues of vintage styling and nods to Glasuta Original's first diver, the Spesomatic Type RP TS200. It is a very comfortable watch to wear, aided by the curved lugs that hug the wrist, the smoothness of the crystal on the display case back, and the bracelet with its three-piece links and quick adjustment capability. With the addition of this reed green model, which was not available when I reviewed the smaller CQ, beautiful styling, in-house movement, extensive testing, top-notch finishing, and the opportunity to own a luxury piece that isn't a follow-the-crowd watch, I'm even more more convinced that the CQ Panorama Date is one of the best divers watches in this price range and one that I would love to own. I might also consider the two-tone model I mentioned before. Are you convinced about this watch? Let me know in the comments below. As promised, here are links to my reviews of the CQ and the Panamanic Lunar Watches from Glasuta Original, and a recent video I published about selecting a luxury watch. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.